So we're given this system of equations. We've got two variables, two equations, and we want to solve it using an inverse matrix. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to look at this formula here for finding the inverse of a matrix, a two by two matrix. And what you would do is you would switch these two elements here, A and B, so they switch positions. And then what you do is you make the B and the C the opposite sign. So if they're negative, you make them positive, positive, you make them negative. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to divide by the determinant. The determinant is this product, AD, minus this product, BC. And that's what you're dividing each of those elements by. So I'll show you how this works. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to set this up as a matrix equation. So the way we would do that is we would say the coefficients are 2, negative 1, and this one's 1 and 3. And then we have our variable matrix, which is x and y. And then we have our solution matrix, which is 3 and 5. Okay, so what we can think about this as, we can think of this as like matrix A, and this is matrix X, that's our variable matrix, and this is matrix B, this is our solution matrix. Our goal is to get this variable matrix by itself. And the way that we do that is we multiply by the inverse of A, and you want to make sure you're if you multiply the inverse of A here on the left, you want to multiply by the inverse of A here on the right. And when you multiply a matrix times its inverse, you get the identity matrix, okay? And the identity matrix is kind of like the number one. One times anything is itself. So you're going to end up getting X equals, or our variable matrix equals, the inverse of our uh, coefficient matrix times our B, which is our solution matrix. So this is what we're after right here, A inverse B. So let's go ahead and find out the inverse of this matrix right here. So what we're gonna do is let's figure out what the determinant is here first, the AD minus BC. So I say two times three is six, minus negative one times one, which is negative one. Six minus negative one is equal to seven. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch these on the diagonal. So if I do that, I get three and two, and these ones are going to make the opposite sign, so multiply by negative 1, so that would be 1 and negative 1. And I'm going to divide them all by our determinant, AD minus BC, which is 7. So that's our inverse matrix here, A inverse. We're going to multiply it by our solution matrix, which is matrix B, and that's 3, 5. Now, one thing you probably know about with working with matrices and multiplying, you want to check the dimensions. We have a two-row two column times a two row, one column. The inner dimensions match and we're gonna end up with a two by one. And so we wanna draw that as two rows, one column. And what you can do is you can say this is in the first row, first column. So we're gonna take this first row times this first column. So that's gonna be three sevenths times three is nine sevenths plus one seventh times five is five sevenths. That adds up to 14 sevenths, which is equal to two. Okay, now for this position, this is in the second row, first column. So we take the second row, first column. So that's negative three sevenths plus 10 sevenths, which is equal to seven sevenths, which is one. So you can see we're ending up with our solution matrix X, Y, which is two, one, or we can write it as a coordinate two comma one. Now you can check your work by putting it back into the original equation. Four minus one is three. Uh, two plus three times one is three. So two plus three is five. It makes both equations true. So we know that this is the solution to our system. If you wanna see another example and test yourself, maybe practice one on your own, follow me over to another video I did like this right there and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you over in that video.